Welcome guys from a very, very high moisture content Kampang Pet Thailand here on Pang Farm. Uh, look at my bougainvillea. Uh, she went down yesterday, big time. So we've had to chop all the foliage off and um, prop her back up and hopefully she's going to come back to life. Hopefully. Right, um, as I said, we've got massive rainfall yesterday, huge winds. Uh, we've had quite a lot of damage, but hey ho, we carry on. Right, let's have a quick look at the missus. Um, she got a quick, well, a quick demonstration. Uh, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Any, oh dear, oh no. Any message for all the kind words from people? Thank you for kind people. Thank you for care. And uh, I'm 90% better. Brilliant. And uh, I'm gonna be back strong soon. Thank you again. Thank you for okay. care about me. Thank you. Um. I'll have to cut this out of the video later. Can you bring the uh, hula hoop into the bedroom tonight? No fucking way. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Uh, right then. So, uh, we've had the old strimmer out, guys. Won't be magic there. And to the right down here, unbelievably, not that you would believe it, uh, we've got two raised beds down there, huge ones. Uh, that I haven't seen the light of day for about two months. Um, but I'm gradually clearing everything. If you, if you look at the foliage down there, it's basically like that all the way back to here. Um, all the moringas have been chopped down apart from the far two. Uh, but you can see how quick they're growing back. It's just crazy. Look at that. That is all food for me and Toon and the goats. Uh, I've also transplanted a load of seedlings um, you can't see with, can't see because my fingers in the way. But oh, by the way, look at all the uh, gatin growing, Lucina, brilliant. It's took its time, guys, but it is going well now. And um, the good thing about it is we've resisted the temptation to cut it early, um, and have been cutting the lower branches off to promote um, uh, the the trees to grow higher. Uh, and then once they flower and go to seed, then we can chop them down and we're good to go. So that one over there is, um, or oh, just hit the phone then, is uh, flowering as I speak. Yeah, oh, it's going so well. But yeah, behind that on the high road, I've got all the moringas growing. So I'd um, planted the seed about a month ago, transplanted them. Uh, they don't like transplanting, to be fair. I mean, look at this. It's as rough as old dogs, what's it? Um, but they're okay. Uh, what what we have noticed, like this this poor chap, uh, the bugs nail them as soon as you put them in. Direct sowing is far, far better than uh, transplanting. Not sure if that's going to make it. It probably will. Still a bit of greenery there. And then down here, all the way, every two metres, we've got a moringa. So the idea being that we're going to get generate some real height here. I'm not going to be cropping them low down. Uh, bananas are coming back well. You see, it's nice. It's um, nice, thick vegetation. Uh, this is something that we've been lacking for years on our farm, getting some height up uh, to generate um, some shade. Uh, I'm not sure if they're yellow or golden basket weavers. The old chappy, he's up there. And uh, yeah, he's been working his magic, hasn't he? Beautiful little bird. Uh, got about 30 uh, benin, the uh, the common tilapia out of here, Nile tilapia or whatever. And, um, just dropped a load off to Kai Muk and Toon's mum. Toon cooked them up for them, uh, along with some of our fresh bamboo that was in our previous video. Uh, and then she's fried the rest up. Um, I'm under strict orders to catch some more tomorrow. 
uh, and she's going to do her preserving. Um, she salts them. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, actually better than having them fresh, which a lot of people might be surprised. Uh, you can see the height of the, the water in the ponds now. Sorry, guys, it's a bit shaky. I just bought the GoPro out and uh, we had an SD card error pop up. So um, I just grabbed the phone. Uh, down here, Toon's uh, pond, it's only a pond for half the year. Uh, there's a lot of baby snakehead in here. So I'm uh, going to leave them another couple of weeks and then going to gonna capture the parents and eat them. Right then, go down here. So, so uh, I've caught quite a lot of tilapia that were a little bit undersized to eat. So the real small ones, um, I put, well, got five today. I put five very small ones in here. One's just come up there. Because uh, I, I noticed there was a lot of um, insect life here, there earlier today. So they should grow fantastically. This will be dry in the dry season. Uh, but we've got two deep areas there and there. Um, so when we come to the dry season, the fish will migrate into those and they're easy to scoop out with a net. And then further along, I'm trying not to vibrate the, uh, the phone. Oh, goats aren't up here. I'm going to let them out in a minute. I've put, current count is 26 tilapia into here um, but not the really small ones so probably like 400 three to 400 gram fish i've put in here um, there's some hyacinth down there but they can make their way through to the main part of the canal you can see there's loads of nice sized fish in here there's a lot of snakehead in here not the giant snakehead the striped snakehead majority of them um, but when we get the heavy rains this all floods in here and uh, a lot of the fish go in there Get plenty of food, so we don't have to feed this at all. Yeah. Again, a lot of the uh, the snakeheads are pregnant, or they've got fry, so we're, we're giving them a bit of a break. We're not we're not hitting them yet, but we will do. We will do. Toons Garam is growing very well there, and uh, uh, Asian uh, Amazon. Red tails are growing fantastically well in here. Uh, I've got my shrimp trap down there. I might do a, a separate video of it. You will not believe the size of the freshwater shrimp that we've been catching. Should be eat. Toon keeps on giving me the evils, guys. Because um, I, well, basically I just nip them in half and throw them in the corner here and all the red tails come up and eat them. But yeah, she wants to eat the shrimp and... But the uh, the catfish come first, right then. Oh, let's let the monkeys out. Uh, where's my naughty stick? Oh, I've left it. Can I let them out? Can I let fifty? Or I was going to say fifty nine. We got rid of another four. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Got rid of four. We let another four goats go, including me old pal Doris, aka the vampire goat. Yeah. Right then. Gonna uh well let's go for it, Lee. Confidence. If they sense weakness, I'm in trouble, so Alright, Natasha. Let's go for it. Ready, creamy? Brownie's ready, look. Right, it's gonna get very, very shaky. Because I need to head them off at the pass. Oh, I've got a stick! I've got a stick! Oh, look at that, hey, already full, ain't not you? So I had them out for a, about an hour this afternoon before the heavens open. No, 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 we'll go, we're going right. All right, Eby, go on, go on, bye, bye, good, 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 good. Look at that, the goat whisperer. I've still got it, guys. Settled down spot. Of course, lovely is uh, 
Well, I think I'm not sure if she's half human, half goat. It's a bit weird because I understand her and she understands me, so I'm not sure if she's half human or I'm half goat or a bit of both. Don't pee on camera, Trixie. Yeah, you can see they're not incredibly hungry because they're all they're all looking like zombies. Go on in. Let's go. Come on. Mush. Ooh. Ooh. Go on, Jingle. Go on. Yeah, so we're down now to 55 goats. Uh, six of those are bucklins, uh, including Jeff. It's Jeff, isn't it? Jeff. Lovely boy he is. Quite friendly. Looks like his dad's sour guy. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, the guy with the big balls, Thor. Um, and the rest are all girls. Included you, Gypsy, haven't we, eh? Mm. Right then. Uh, palm trees. I oh, just oh, love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, the growth round here has been brilliant. Um, I'll take all the credit, really, from uh, putting all the compost and scratchings from underneath the uh, Lucina table. So it's great. We've got from here all the way over, using my naughty stick, to there. Really tall, lush vegetation for the goats to eat when it's um, been bad weather like it is now. Lovely time. Come on, Tangmo. Uh, the guy that came to buy the goats basically wanted to buy the whole herd. And um, yeah, he wanted, when we said absolutely no chance, uh, he still wanted Tangmo and Sherbet. And Toom was um, in an hour and I was like, what are you talking about? You can't let Sherbet go. She's the only goat that smiles. And, um, and mum would never forgive us, I think. It's bad enough letting Lucky go. So, yeah, I know we're a business, but we have to draw the line sometimes, don't we? We love our goats, as you as you know. And um, no, Sherbet had lost a little bit of weight. Um, but, you know, I back her. She's, um, and the last couple of days, uh, she's bounced back a bit. So... Uh, I think she overheard us talking that she was um, she was going to be going. But no, not for now. And I, I, I said to the bloke, I said, "Well, look, you're going to be back in a couple of months to do um, to to buy the bucklins, six bucklins. Um, if she hasn't improved by then, you can you can buy her. But um, I only said that because I'm convinced that Sherbert will be fine. Oh, something just. Get another fish down there. With all this heavy rain, the wait, lovely. Uh, there's a lot of predators getting plenty of action in the lake. Where are you going, Eb? It's just lovely and cool. The, the mosquitoes are an absolute nightmare. Um, apart from when we get the storms, uh, there's not a lot of wind, so uh, dampness with uh, low wind speed is a, is a recipe for disaster with the mosquitoes, but plenty of DEET. Well, someone recently said, smother yourself in um, pork fat. Mm. <laughs> we've got EB and uh, the youngest goat we've got in the herd, Y over there. Lovely little lass. And, um, but she's already outgrown uh, little Kira. I can't see Kira anywhere. Lily's looking good. Uh, we've got the two twins from Aronetta. So Aronetta is our biggest, biggest goat we've got. Um, and we've got Chili and uh, Olive from her. They're doing fantastically well. Everyone's hair's lovely, lovely and shiny. They are due, well they're overdue their shots. Certainly with it being a rainy season, but thankfully no one's no one's um, looking down a bit. There's the, we have got Harlan, she got the trots 
last week and I said to Tune, I said, I don't care how sick you are, you're going to have to come and give the shot to, to Harland. Um, but I checked her eyelids and she wasn't anemic. So you, you just pull the eyelid down a little bit and if they're not pink then it's, uh, it's, it's basically anemia from, um, from parasites. Uh, she just had too much grass in one go. You get a lot of um, new growth which is very lush and uh, high in protein and it just rips through them a little bit too much, a little bit too quickly. Uh, yeah, there's Owenetta there. All right, girl. Yes. She's not nodding her head. She's, uh, she's got to fly the flipping man one season. All right, Thor. So Thor is Owenetta's son. Yeah, I know. What? No. No. Oh, hang on a minute. Got a ninja coming. Look at that. Like Darth Maul. Two lightsabers she's got. Whereas mine's a bit, a bit behoobahy. You didn't do your um, hula hooping for very long, did you, missus? I hear you talking. I thought you need me. No. Professional, and I. G jar. Still looking for mangoes over there. They're all gone. Sorry, Mum. They won't be here when you get back. Oh, bit of good news. Mum and uh, Chris have uh, booked their dates for the next farm stay. So that's looking good. Go on, you lot. Go on, April. Mm. G Jar's coming at speed. Oh, she's gone over there now. You can't play your music on there. We can't get any ad revenue if it's. Shh. Right, Mrs. It's uh, tune question time. Um, what's your favourite colour? Black. Hmm. Uh, what's your favourite uh, number? I think everyone is nine. Everyone? Everyone no, in not Thailand me. is number nine. I'm 14. My what position is playing rugby. Uh, Favourite football team? Can I say none? No. Nope. I like Liverpool, but... Yeah, 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 yeah that'll do. Yeah, but uh, none. Football teams you hate the most? Oh, Chelsea. Is it? <laughs> oh, that's Drogba, isn't it? Who's the second team you hate the most? What what you call Tottenham? 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 Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's a third one you don't like. Oi! I don't know the name, man. Oh, I hate the word is Manchester. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. That's what I was looking for. Ever. Yeah, ever. Manchester, Man City, any, any mm. man that I hate. Um, oh, someone passed again. What's your favourite meat to eat? Well, I can say normally beef, but not now. No, can't eat beef anymore, can you? Can I say a prawn? Is that meat? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> if you're vegetarian, I've, I've no it is. I've got no flavour. No? No. Favourite vegetable? Oh, I've got no flavour because I love every oh, vegetable. Oh, come on. I People love want, every festival. People want to know. I know, but I got every festival. It's favorite my fruit. Favorite. Ooh, got three. Three La favorites. Lady, watermelon, and mango string. Ever. Mm. Say my dad. My dad love mango string. Yeah, but you've forgotten the best fruit in the whole wide world. What? Pomelo. Pomelo. Hmm. Pamela. What's a pamela? No. Some. Yeah. No, no. Oh. My favourite fruit okay. is... Okay. Who's your favourite goat? Favourite? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. i got no favourite. What? How can you not have a favourite goat? i got no favourite. I love everyone. And I hate everyone same time. 
It can't say that. Because they're naughty. I hate when they're naughty. I don't mean I hate, hate them. Yeah, but them. I'm naughty sometimes. You don't hate me. Oh, I do sometimes. Oh. Smack you at. Shh, it's not that sort of video, love, is it? Like a naughty mistake. <laughs> That's only on a Wednesday night. Not every night, is it? What's your favourite woman? You, dear. <laughs> you dead anyway, if you're not answer, it's me. <laughs> dead Willis. Yeah, mm. Who give you that, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> so many things to say about if I win. All right, then. If you win the lottery, what's the first thing you're going to buy? First thing I'm going to buy is a car. What, bef before a box of beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Beer come with the car. Oh, is it? Right. Second yeah. thing I buy is ticket to go Anglesey, fishing on the sea. Anglesey in the Wales. Is it Wales? Wales, yeah. There. If you don't know where Wales is, it's sort of like one of the prettiest places in England. <laughs> then least my life I'm going to do is just drive around and help people. Darwin, what are you doing? That's a goat. Settle down. I love to go around to Thailand and help people. How, you get, how would you help them? How do you help them? A lot of people help them. How you can help Who them? Who are you helping anyway? Just people in Thailand? Yeah. How do you know they need help? Easy to know, love. Same earth, we need help now. I need help. <laughs> I help you. <laughs> That's terrible to say. People can change that word. Don't listen what? to him, guy. <laughs> Some people can think that it's naughty. <gasps> Big fist. Wow. Same place two times now. Mm. We should come out with the... Uh... Standing looks. Stick, sometime, stick the frogs on the earth. Sometimes if anyone want me to to talk on video, just me without Lee. Just no, give, no. Just, just give me the what you call it, objects or option. Subject. Ob subject. That's yeah, but no one's ever asked you asked for you to do a video on your own. No. No, they sometimes ask for me. No, really. Mm. You boy shitting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone boringly and want to listen to me, just give me the object. Is it object? Object. Ob object and tell me what, what you want to listen. I can't just swear fuck all the time, but I can oh. talk a lot of things. Mm. Just, just give, me a, give me the answer and give me the idea what, yeah, what give you, you the want object. to know. Yeah, that's it. Object. Object, mm. whatever. Get any hang of this English, didn't you? Eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Call out. Well, it's, uh, it's getting that time, isn't it? Ooh, just 23 minutes of talking, blah, blah. Exactly. It was going so well till you turned up. <laughs>